Okay. Okay, here we are in my speed shop in Pensacola. Gonna try out the new lathe. I'm gonna make my first cut here. Let me talk to you a minute. So I'm gonna try to make my first cut here, cutting a hardened steel axle spline. Now I've got a carbon insert in here, 432 CNMG to be exact, 432 carbon insert. I don't know, you'll see in a minute, it looks to me like it's just gonna shatter when it hits those splines. I'm cutting the old splines off the end of the shaft. Um, we are uh, amateur machinists here, and I'm looking forward to this, so I wanna video this and see how this uh, lathe performs. I'm gonna try it with the axle not supported because it's very close to the chuck it's pretty stiff i think it might be stiff enough we'll see let's let's try this and see what happens okay let's set this all up oh yeah let's set this all up so I can use my digital readout as you can see here's a digital readout going right there we got the speed set really high at 1255 rpm I don't know I've got my feed and my speed calculated over here for these inserts this is what that looks like it's a carbon insert. It's got four cutting, four cutting corners on it, so you can use it four times. So we've calculated the speed and feed to be these figures here, and a lot of RPM. Too much RPM, I think. So I'm going to touch off on it right here, and then try to take a cut, a depth of twenty thousandths or thirty thousandths, starting through these splines on automatic feed, and I'll show you how that works as we get uh, slowly started here. It says it needs to spin that fast. How about 755? Hmm. Well, 755 look like. I'm telling you, that looks more like it. I don't know what to do. I don't know, this is an amateur amateur hour here. So we are going to touch off on this and set our digital readout to zero like that when we touch this and our X is left and right and our Y is how deep. So I'm going to go in and touch that. Where we were. And we want to go in and cut 
twenty thousandths off of that. Let's set our digital meter to zero. Here. When I turn this to twenty, that means I'm cutting ten thousandths and ten thousandths. It's twenty smaller diameter. When I set it for 20, you'll see this will say 10,000. Because this is actual movement of the saddle and the cross bar. So that's only 20,000 cut onto this. But there's splines. Let's cut it and see what it does. cut some off of that so far so good that was 20 thousandths we want to cut these old splines off because I made a shaft I bought a shaft one time custom made that they made smaller Volkswagen spines right where the old Chevrolet big spines were they cut the old spines off first and put smaller spines in this area so it's called an interrupted cut these, these uh, inserts are good for that. Seems pretty tough for me. Uh, but it was back cutting when I went to back it up. This may, should be uh, supported better. Um, I can always run this up here. I can always run up my tail stock. That's what it's for. But I don't get much room when I run this tail stock up here. And lock it and I'll install the tailstock and we'll try it and we'll try it that way we will see exactly right now if it back cuts on the cuts any better with the tailstock involved so let's set the tailstock and try another 20 thousandths cut Yet. Next time. 
time we'll see if we get any back feed on it. I forgot to check the back feed. I hope we could see that good. See how close we are to everything. You gotta be careful. Okay, let's go back in. We were 20. We were 40. That's 20 on the meter. On the digital readout, we want to go another 20 thousandths to 60 thousandths. at this I think that was a little deeper cut than that I don't know well we're starting to get our spines are cut off this is getting to be a deeper cut I want to make an implement out of this I want to make a tailstock like this out of this piece and put a cone on it a 60 degree cone like that on this to make it to fit in a tailstock for the chuck but that's beside the point Let's see what this looks like. We need to clean this off. Gee, I don't have a brush out here yet. I just need a little brush. It's not broken. And it was cutting some nice interrupted cuts. Very little. But uh, it's got to be rough cutting that, that interrupted cut. This is a uh, Chevrolet axle. I mean, it's hardened metal, but you can file it, as you'll see. Get my brand new to file out. Now this is hard, not like a bearing race or anything. It's hard and steel, but see, the file cuts right into it. So it's not crazy hard and... And you cut dry with this. This lathe has a lubrication system right here i'm going to use it when i have to but you're supposed to cut all these hardened steels this is medium hard steel we're getting somewhere here let's keep going after this i don't know it's pretty scary stuff so far so good i don't think my speeds and feeds are right but they're working i don't know